While the Dallas Cowboys find themselves sitting at 3-1, and one, fans around the team seem to be really worried about one thing, and that is the red zone offense. The Cowboys have been bad inside the 20-yard line to start 2023. It's been a combination of dropped passes, penalties, missed assignments, and straight-up bad play calling. But the truth is, the Cowboys offense is not all bad, and I pulled out some analytics that are probably going to surprise you and confuse you. And I believe that some of these stats back up the argument that the Cowboys are going to get this red zone issue figured out sooner rather than later. And why I think this issue is really just a blip on the radar. Now, let's get into the video. After week four, it feels like the Cowboys red zone offense is as stale and stagnant as ever. The offense went one of four in the red zone against the Patriots on Sunday, and some people like to argue that they went two for five, but the reality of the situation is that they were on the 20 yard line. The red zone is zero through 19. So you can argue that they went two of five, but I don't really think that makes it much better. So far in 2023, the Cowboys rank as the third worst team in the NFL at scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Right now, they rank below the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Jets, who are some of the worst offenses in all of football. The Cowboys have scored a touchdown on just 36.84% of their red zone opportunities through four weeks. If you just take the last three weeks, the Cowboys have scored a touchdown on just 26.6% of their red zone trips, which ranks 31st in the league right in front of Jacksonville. That 26.6% is a long way from some of the top scoring offenses in the NFL, like Miami at 77% and Baltimore at 80%. And I know what I'm telling you right now is not a surprise. We've all watched the games and those numbers back up everything we've seen. The Cowboys offense stinks in the red zone. They're literally a bottom three team at punching it in for a touchdown. And if you just take what the Cowboys have done in the red zone to start the season, I don't think there's much hope that they get it fixed. But when you take the entirety of the Cowboys offense and what they've been able to accomplish with efficiency and driving the ball down the field, I think that's where you find your hope. So let's dive into some of the analytics. Let's start with EPA. EPA stands for expected points added. With EPA, you're essentially able to assign a point value for each play. It gives you a better evaluation of a team's play calling decisions and player performance more than your traditional box score would. High up executives, analytic departments all use EPA to tell you how efficient your offense or defense is being. Right now, they rank as the seventh best offense according to EPA per play, right behind the Kansas City Chiefs and Los Angeles Chargers. Jeez. The Cowboys have a near top five offense in the NFL, but that's not the only place that they're flourishing. The Cowboys offensive success rate is impressive as well, sitting at 46%, which ranks above the Chiefs, Rams, and Lions inside the top 10. All offenses, I think we can say, have been really good to start 2023. The Cowboys rushing success rate and dropback success rate both rank inside the top 10. On third down conversion percentage, the Cowboys rank as the best in the NFL, which is usually a good sign of a good offense. Are you moving the sticks consistently? Are you picking up third and three, third and four, third and five? And the Cowboys are doing it. By the way, that's because you have a pretty good quarterback. Not only that, the Cowboys rank fourth in the NFL in percentage of drives ending in a punt or turnover, which is awesome for an offense. You're picking up third downs at a high rate, the highest in the NFL, and you're not turning the ball over, and you're not really punting the ball at a high rate either. So that's where it comes down to the red zone offense. And that's the problem we run into as fans. We want to see touchdowns. If the Cowboys get down there and kick a field goal, we don't really consider that drive much of a success. But in reality, their offense is super efficient. And my whole take is, an offense that is this good, that ranks inside the top 10, the top five, is the best in the league, is gonna figure it out in the red zone. It's only a matter of time. A good offense is eventually gonna figure out how to score points. Right now, it's just one of those things that everyone knows it's a problem. Dak knows it's a problem, Mike does, the media does, 
fans do. And it just seems like once they get down there, everything seems to go wrong because they're trying to fix the issue because everyone knows it's an issue. And it just seems like the mistakes compound there. Clean football for 60 to 80 yards of the field. It's just those last 20 where all of those problems just seem to get compounded together. Now, I'm not saying that the Cowboys are going to magically become one of the best red zone teams in all of football but they're certainly not going to be the 30th for the rest of the year. Even if they could get inside the top 12, top 10, this team is going to change drastically. Considering you're averaging 36 points a game, while your offense is only averaging 12 points per game. Now there is one thing, and as good as Dak Prescott and Mike McCarthy have been to start the year, you can argue that they've both been a problem in the red zone. Dak has only completed 50% of his passes, but I also believe that Mike McCarthy's play calling and system is a direct reason that this offense isn't that good when it comes to scoring points. But figure out how to get Dak involved with his legs. It adds a different dynamic to this offense that defenses are going to have to account for. Now, I'm not saying that's what you need to roll with for the entire year but maybe enough to get you out of this slump. Dak still has the ability to threaten defenses with his legs. And against the 49ers, the Cowboys are going to certainly have to score points. So if you're going to do it, this needs to be the week that you use Dak on the ground. That's a big and fast defense, and you're going to have to do a little something different. So that's my thought on the Cowboys red zone offense. I do think it's going to get sorted out. Do I think it's going to get sorted out against the 49ers? I don't know. You're going to have to watch my preview video that's coming out later this week. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you are. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I love you all. Bye.